Hi, I'm Jim Colt with Maverick CNC. Uh, we're going to talk about a, a few little things uh, that, that can help improve the operation of your, of your system. Now, one of the th first things that I always run into uh, in my own shop is uh, you know, I go out to the system, I haven't run it for maybe for the weekend, and, uh, and I turn on the power supply, throw some new consumables in, get ready to cut, and I realize that uh, it, it, won't, it won't accept a start signal. Uh, go back to the power supply, and if, whenever you see this, this little amber light on, that means that there's an error code. Look at the, look at the digital screen, and in this case, we've got a 0-50 error code. Uh, so the error code is like the check engine light in your car. Uh, it's telling you there's something wrong, obviously. Um, so a lot, in a lot of cases, uh, those, those of us that uh, don't really spend time with the manual um, won't, know, won't know that much about it, but if you flip through the manual, go into the maintenance section, all of the error codes that'll show up are listed. They do give you a pretty good idea what's going on, and on the Maverick machine, uh, you will see a, an error code list that's on the, right behind the CNC screen, and that'll kind of give you a good point. Doesn't always tell you exactly what the problem is, but in this case, it's a 0-50, and I just changed the consumables in the torch, and for safety reasons, the power supply shuts itself down and won't allow it to start until new consumables are in, the cap is screwed properly on, and you go reach around the back of the power supply and reset the power like this. Now the error code's gone and we're ready to cut.